scale. Now, if you just want to stay the same or shrink a little bit, just keep working word of mouth and social media and be frustrated. But if you want to scale, you got to have three high functioning lead gen activities. And if you don't know how to do that, get help. And you might have to invest to Ryan in my earlier point, but boy, only invest if you get an ROI. If you're getting yes. an ROI off your paid ads on LinkedIn or wherever you're doing it, why not? Oh man, that's $4,000. I could, well, but that 4,000 made you 20. And so, you know, think like a business person and really get ready to invest and get ready to put it in the, your money in the right places so that you can uh, grow and scale this business. So anyhow, those are some of the things that I'm helping coach entrepreneurs through. And that there's a lot there to unpack and we could probably go on a full conversation there, but we're coming close to the end of this one. So, um, one one question I want to ask, and, and it and it boils down to: Do you differentiate between sales and marketing when you're working with entrepreneurs? Um, yeah, a little bit. Um, the sales side, particularly, I'm a B2B guy. I'm not so okay. experienced at B2C, so I'm bigger in the sales side. Although I would tell you, the first things we do before we start these lead gen activities is start the mark marketing activities, meaning getting your message right, getting mm -hmm. what's your core values, what's your purpose, why is this so important, what are your value propositions, and really kind of clean out the messages, which is the marketing side of it, um, because both in, in verbal uh, sales pitches and in your advertisements, we need clear messages to targeted ideal customers, to niches that you know the pain points for versus the general mass. General mass advertising is dead. That does, unless you're Apple, <laughs> you know, if you're a startup or you're an early entrepreneur, do not do general advertising. You need targeted, specific, clear messaging to your niche ideal client. Um, and go niche, don't go everybody, particularly up front, even the best companies in the world, right? Apple served the teachers first. They were in schools and then they went mm -hmm. home. And then finally, they got, you know, to business and other categories, right? Lululemon, one of my favorite clothing companies out of Vancouver, very successful. They started yoga, and then they expanded to men and other areas and, and workout and running and et cetera. Start niche. So, yeah, 